So how can you quickly create two folder icons like these in PowerPoint so that as you flip between your slides, you create what I like to call an intentional false animation. So that open and closing effect of the folders as I flip between the slides. Well, you can either do this the long and hard way, trying to combine a bunch of different shapes together, which probably won't end up being perfect, or you can do it in just a few clicks with this clever little PowerPoint technique. On top of that, if you then take a few minutes to set up a simple little tool, like I'll show you how to do it at the end of this short video, you can further take advantage of a bunch of free icons that you might otherwise spend money on if you didn't know any better. But first off, let me show you how easy this clever little technique is. For your first couple of clicks, you want to click up to the Insert tab, open up the Shapes Gallery, and just grab a rectangle and draw it on your slide like that. For your next set of clicks, you just want to grab a text box and draw it over your rectangle so that it extends off of the rectangle. Otherwise, the text box will snap to the rectangle. Next, you want to type the letters 0 and 1, and I'm just going to quickly change the font size to 250 so that it's easier to see like that. Your next click, just click into the font input box and type Wingdings and hit Enter, and you immediately get the folder icons that we want, but you don't want to stop here. Now, as a quick heads up, these two folder icons are just a few of the hundreds of icons like these buried on your computer. It's something that not a lot of people know about, but I'll show you exactly how to unlock them all in just a second so that you don't accidentally end up spending money on them in the future. Once you have your Wingdings icons like this, you want to first select the text box with the icons in them, then holding shift, select the background rectangle, drawing tools format tab, merge shapes drop down, and select fragment which breaks out the graphics into fully customizable PowerPoint graphics. You'll need to do a little bit of cleanup work here. And I'm just going to quickly group mine and resize them to fit my screen like that. With your graphics all cut out to create these little icons that I already have, simply select your graphics. These are now fully customizable. Just come to the Drawing Tools Format tab. You can change the shape fill to anything you like. You can change the shape outline and or you can add a shape. I've added a drop shadow here to give it a little bit of texture like that. From there, if you just set the folders up on your slides so that each alternating slide has one of the different open folders on it, hit F5 for presentation mode. As you flip through your deck, you'll get that intentional false animation effect that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Now, before I show you how to set up a simple little tool that's going to make icons grow on trees for you for the rest of your career, if you found this video helpful so far, please take a second and give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. It's an easy click for you and lets me know whether or not this is the kind of cool PowerPoint stuff you want to see here on my channel. Okay, so now that you know the secret icon technique from here, to take advantage of all the other free icons like this buried on your computer, you'll want to set up a font cutter tool like this. Or you can just download mine directly beneath this video. To set this up yourself, you'll need a text box and a shape. I've added a handle to my rectangle to make it easier to grab. And within your text box, you'll just want to add the 223 different character types, including the upper, lowercase letters, and all of these special characters here. Once you have that all set up, you can then take advantage of all the wingding icons. So scissors, bells, books, and other types of stuff. There's wingdings, two icons, more pens. I really like these check mark and X's for my own slides. There's also a web dings, another loaded icon font hidden on your computer. In total, that's 886 icons that you can then cut out using the technique that I just showed you. On top of that, once you've set your tool up like this, you can then download other free icon fonts from around the web from sites like 1001fonts.com and cut them out further saving yourself from purchasing a bunch of icons that you can otherwise get for free. If you don't want to go through the hassle of setting something like this up yourself, I'll include a link in the description box to download mine, including some additional video instructions on how to use it, some icon fonts I recommend checking out, as well as the 886 wingding icons that I already cut out for myself. To grab these resources, just look for the link below in the description box. Again, icons like these can easily cost you a buck or two a pop, but in my experience, you can often find what you're looking for or something close enough to it for free using an icon cutter tool like I just showed you. To get mine already all made up, just look for the links below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.